let's look at how we can add columns to Excel and fill them with a series of numbers. So here we've got a data set. We've got some data on about 100 employees, and we have how many hours they usually work, their education, their salary, their age, and their sex. Now suppose we want to add another column here, just indicating them by number, because maybe we want to talk about the first employee or employee number 42 or something like that. We just have lines of data. The way that we insert a column in Excel is we can go up to the column where you want the new column to appear. So I want it to be at to the left of these numbers here. So I will click on A, that will light up the entire column A, and that's where the new column will be, and everything will get pushed to the out of the way. So I've highlighted the entire column, I right click, and I then choose insert, and that has inserted another column. Now, when I start entering data in this column, I don't want it to be right by the edge. Let's insert another column. So while it's still highlighted, I'm going to right click and click insert. All right, now I want to create a title for this. So I will put worker ID and we've got worker ID there. Now we've got like a hundred employees here what I can do is I can give the first one the number one, the second one the number two, and then I don't have to keep going. If I select these two numbers, I can click on the first number, and then I can select the these two numbers by doing shift down arrow, and then if I pull this handle all the way down to the bottom, and as I get to the bottom, it'll go automatically. And the farther I go down, it'll go faster. So I want to go to about here to the end of the data. And if I go down here and just let go, it fills those up with those automatic numbers there. And that's the worker ID. Now, it didn't to copy the formatting of this table, but that's okay because I want to use an Excel defined table anyway. So just, I just need to be clicked in any one cell. I go to insert and I click on table and it says, is that the table I want for my data? Guess what I wanted, it guessed correctly. My table has headers, yes, and I press okay. And there it has changed it into an Excel table that uh, a little nice, uh, is more nicely formatted. 